start off by saying that my soil samples on nematode uh, give you a gist of how bad my pressure is, is there are two, num two numbers to count, uh, the soil samples. Before we were looking at uh, an irrigated farm where I have these uh, test trials, that's six gallons to the uh, acre of water. So it's quite a, a heavy irrigated field. We were looking at bale and a half two bale irrigated yields, which is unacceptable with that amount of water. Actually, last year we started uh, the testing with the root knot uh, varieties and uh, we've seen a basically a bale to the acre difference in yield uh, in one year and what's most exciting about it is the uh, reduction we're actually testing has shown uh, that we're reducing the nematode numbers from uh, populating year to year so uh, we're pretty excited about it uh, got a ways to go with it but we're on the right track with it it's it's the production has really come up I believe they, some of the numbers have been a roughly 60 to 70 percent reduction in numbers from the first year to planting a RKN variety that was resistant to nematodes. So it's actually reducing the numbers of breeding nematodes in the field. So in theory, I hope after planting continuously year after year that uh, you, I don't know if you're necessarily going to get the numbers down to zero, but might possibly you could switch to a it's an acceptable variety for one year that you that you might want to try and then you could you know get in a rotation type process